Hello and welcome to the last video of this series which is how to pronounce the T Marbuta, the circle T when you have it in the spoken Arabic because sometimes we have the pronunciation of an A and sometimes we have the pronunciation of an A. Again, I came up with this rule that will help you with 99% of the words in Arabic to see if you pronounce it as an A or as an A. So let's continue with the letters for today. The first letter for today is going to be the L, the LAM letter, the L, 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 L. So let's begin. So if you had the L, the LAM letter before the circle, the TA at the end, so the pronunciation of the TA, the pronunciation of the circle TA will be an A, A. For example, we have the table, TAWLE, TAWLE, TAWLE. So TAWLE. Taule. Then it means the L and then the T at the end, so we had the pronunciation of an A. Taule. Next one is Majelle. 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 Majelle means a magazine, and we have the L sound and then the T the circle T at the end. Then we had to pronounce the T as an A. Majelle. Magazine. Next we have Selle. Selle. Selle means a basket. So whatever the basket type was, even the basketball basket, whatever, the trash, ba trash basket, etc. So a basket is selle, selle. Again, the L and the T marbuta, then the pronunciation of the T marbuta is an E, selle. Next one is sahle, sahle. Sahl means easy, sahle is easy for a task which is feminine maybe, or something which is really easy, but it's a feminine. So, sahle, sahle, sahle. Don't say about a girl sahle, because if you said the girl is easy, it means to, she's easy to have, and it's really bad to say that in Arabic. Also in English, it's really bad. So, don't say it about people, say it about the things that you think it's easy. And feminine things that it's easy. And then we have ghassale. Ghassale. Ghassale is the washer machine. The washing machine is غسالي again and it has the L and then the T marbuta so the pronunciation, pronunciation of the T marbuta is L and A at the end. Next example is going to be the perfect, amazing dish we have which is for the vegetarian. It's tabbule. Tabbule. And tabbule is this beautiful, amazing dish we have. This is tabbule. Again, we have the la sound and then the T marbuta, the circle T at the end, this is why we pronounce it as an A, tabbule. The next letter for today is the wow, the w, 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 w letter. If you had the wow before the T marbuta, then you are going to pronounce the circle T as an A, A sound. Let's see some examples. First, halwa. Halu is beautiful or nice or kind or uh, sweet or sweet and the halwa is the feminine version of this adjective, so halwa, again the w and the tawar buta, so pronounce the t as an a. Halwa, halwa. And the next one is labwa, labwa, labwa. Labwa means lioness. Labwa, labwa. It has the w and the t marbuta at the end, so the circle t, so we had the w letter and then the T marbuta, then the pronunciation of the T marbuta is an E, labwe. For labwe is lioness, I typed it before in a translation app, but they gave me the translation of uh, first lioness, of course, this was the first option, and the second option, which was really low, they said it's a whore or a bitch or a woman who is really bad, but it's not. Uh, it's not, it's really not. When you say labwe about a person, about a woman, then she is really brave, really tough, she's not easy to get, she's not easy to have uh, uh, with men, etc. So this is labwe. And I think there was a mistake uh, when people added those um, translation. So labwe again means the lioness, and the lioness is super important and I like this word, it's not a bad word, so if somebody told you it's a bad word, don't believe them. <laughs> then the next uh, letter for today is the letter ya, uh, the ye 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 letter, the ya. So if you had the ya, the e letter, and then the t marbuta, the circle t after it, the pronunciation of the circle t is going to be an e, e. So for 
for example, battarie, battarie, yeah. So the yeah and the t marbuta at the end, so we pronounce it as the yeah. Battarie, battarie means a battery. You can see the similarity with the pronunciation. And the next one is Hanafi. 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 Hanafi means the faucet. Hanafi. And it has the ye and then the t marbuta at the end. So the pronunciation of the t is the e. So Hanafi. And then Hdi. Hdi. Hdi is the gift or a present in Arabic. And it has the ye and then the t marbuta. So the pronunciation was an e. Hdi. Arabi. أنا عربية again أنا عربية so in standard you would say عربية but in the spoken you would say عربية 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 ي ت so I'm an Arab or Arabic this is for the letter ي ي and then for the letter ط ط ط ط the ط the heavy t if you had it before the t marbuta, the circle t, then the pronunciation of the t is going to be an a. Uh, a. Uh. Let's have some examples. We always say it's t marbuta, marbuta. <laughs> so it's the circled t, the rubbed t. So circled t is t marbuta, marbuta. Marbuta means tight, tight. So this is the word marbuta, marbuta. So this is ta marbuta. And then we have qitta, qitta or itta, itta. So qitta is the cat, qitta, itta, qitta, itta. Again, it has the ta and then the t marbuta at the end. So the pronunciation of the t was an a, ah, qitta. And then we have the duck. The duck is batta, batta. So again, the ta and the t marbuta, the, the, so the pronunciation of the t was Ah, batta. So this was for the letter ta. Then we have the letter n, the noon letter. If we had it before the t marbuta, then the pronunciation of the t is going to be an e. E. Let's have some examples. Janne, janne, janne means heaven. Janne. Again, it has the noon and then the t marbuta, so the pronunciation of the t was e. Janne. Next we have Laymune, Laymune, a lemon, Laymune, Laymune, so an N and the T marbuta at the end, the pronunciation of the T was A, e, Laymune. Next is Shahne, Shahne, Shahne means a truck and the, the next one is Medine, Medine is a city, again we say Medine. And we have jibne, jibne, which is the cheese, which is I love, and labne, labne, which you all know it comes from the yogurt, and we have it in the Arab world, it's a delicious dish too. So labne, labne is the dish, and labne, it has the M, and then the T marbuta at the end, so we had it as an A sound. The last one is sabune, sabune. So sabune means a soap, a piece of soap. So this is the soap sabune. It has the N, the T marbuta at the end. So we had it, the pronunciation of an A. The last letter for today and the last letter for this series is going to be the kaf letter, the K, the kaf. If you had the K letter before the T marbuta, before the circle T, then the pronunciation of the circle T is going to be an A as well. Let's see some examples. Mamlake. Mamlake. So Mamlake means kingdom. Mamlake. Let's say for example El Mamlake El Muttahide. El Mamlake El Muttahide, the United Kingdom, which is the UK. So Mamlake El Muttahide. El Mamlake El Muttahide. So Mamlake. Ke. And the next one is Shoke. Shoke. Shoke is the fork. So Shoke. أنا باكل بالشوكة. I eat with a fork. So, شوكة. شوكة. It has the K and the T مربوطة at the end. So, the pronunciation of the circle T was a A. شوكة. And then, for the مكة, مكة, the city in Saudi Arabia, we say مكة. 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 So it's Mecca in English and some people would call it Mecca in the standard but in the spoken we say Mecca, Mecca, it has the K and the T marbuta at the end so we would just say Mecca, Mecca.
So these were all the letters that you have to know and the team Arbuta pronunciation after all of these. We just did not have three letters in these, three letters of the whole alphabet. I will tell you why we did not have them. The first one was the T, the second one is the th, the th letter, and the last one is the wa, wa, the very heavy th together. So why we did not have them? Because the th sound, the th, like in theater, th, 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 the th sound, we will never pronounce it in the spoken Arabic at all. So sometimes we will convert it into a T and sometimes we will convert it into a th, s, the S. So this is why we don't really have this in the spoken Arabic. We don't pronounce the th, th, th at all. And the next one was the va, va. It's really heavy, so we will never pronounce it in the spoken Arabic. We will convert it into a z, 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 the z, but a little bit, a little bit heavier than the z. So this is why we will not have these two. The last one was the t. The last one is the t. We did not have it in our three serious videos because the t has no rules, unfortunately. I did not come up with any rule that has to be with a T because the T, if you had the T sometimes before the T marbuta, the circle T, sometimes it has the pronunciation of an E and sometimes it has the pronunciation of an A. A. Why? I really don't know, but this is the T, so whenever you have the T letter, you will have sometimes an A sound for the T marbuta and sometimes you will have the A sound for the T marbuta. I will give you some examples so you can see. The first one is napte, napte. Napte is a plant, plant, napte, napte. So it has the T and then the T marbuta at the end, so we pronounce it as an A. And again, we have kafta, kafta, kafta is a dish we do, we make in the Arab world and kafta, kafta, uh, it's a meat dish we make in the Arab world and it's it has the T and then the T marbuta, the circle T after it and the pronunciation was an A. So like you can see, it has sometimes the A sound and sometimes the A sound, this is why the T has no rules. So this, this was the series of three videos about the circle T, the T marbuta, and how we pronounce it in the Arabic, spoken Arabic language. I hope you like it. If you like it, as usual, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and tell me in the comments below if you like my videos or not, and if you have any suggestions, recommendations, and have great days, have a great life. See you later. Bye-bye.